What do you think well, I am missing here? Well, first, you know, what do we know? We know that Merrick Garland approved an unprecedented armed raid on Trump's home that was opposed by the FBI's local field office. Uh, he appointed Jack Smith as special counsel, despite a long record of prosecutorial abuse, to pursue unprecedented charges against Mr. Trump in a constitutionally suspect manner that's now being challenged. We know that Smith had multiple meetings at the White House in the days leading up to his filing indictments. So I, I think it is undeniable that for the first time in American history, a president administration is trying to jail its opponent before an election. Right, With so respect to the, uh, the local prosecutions, we know that uh, Nathan Wade, the, uh, the Atlanta prosecutor, met with the White House general counsel for eight hours before filing charges against Trump for challenging election results in Alabama. And as you pointed out, we know that Matthew Colangelo left his number three position at the Department of Justice to join a local prosecutor who campaigned on getting Trump. Um, uh, clearly, uh, uh, this looks bad. Uh, and it certainly suggests that, uh, that this is being done for strictly political purposes. So, so let me first on the issue of Colangelo, right? He was a pretty. He wasn't. He wasn't the number three in the Justice Department. He was low. He was. He was acting number three. Right. He was. Yeah. Lower than that. But fair enough. It's He worked with Alvin Bragg back in the day at the Attorney General's office. So he went and worked at the Manhattan DA's office. That's not evidence of anything apart from someone getting another gig. The idea that they're sort of shipping him over there, it would be much easier to just have private conversations. Number two, on Jack Smith, well, again, the fact that Jack Smith has prosecuted cases that in the past were overturned doesn't mean he was engaged in prosecutorial abuse throughout his career. And then finally, let me ask you this. I mean, you mentioned the DOJ, right, and all of the cases, et cetera. But what about the fact that the DOJ is prosecuting Hunter Biden, Senator Bob Menendez, Henry Cuellar, recently a key, key seat in the uh, House, Cory Bush is now under investigation, Mayor Eric Adams under investigation, Marilyn Mosby, the former Baltimore city attorney, has been prosecuted, former Representative T.J. Cox was prosecuted, Karen Carter-Peterson, former head of the Louisiana Democratic Party, Andrew Gillum, uh, the one who ran against Ron DeSantis, all have been prosecuted or investigated by this DOJ. Well, that, that is true. Uh, and this isn't to say that they're not legitimate prosecutions of Republicans and Democrats taking place. What troubles me are the cases of a glaring double standard uh, and uh, 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 what is, uh, to, to me, pretty clearly a, a politicized attempt by the administration to, uh, or certainly its, uh, its Confederates, uh, to uh, pre prevent uh, the uh, uh, American people from making uh, a judgment on who they want to see elected president of the United States. I mean, this 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 is unprecedented and very dangerous territory. And with, with respect to Jack Smith's record, I, I think it's pretty clear. He was unanimously overturned by the uh, U.S. Supreme Court in his uh, 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 prosecution of the Virginia uh, governor. Yeah. He was intimately involved uh, in the abuses of the IRS under Lois Lerner, uh, involving the targeting of Tea Party volunteers uh, because of their political views. This is the last person you would think would be appointed yeah. on such a politically sensitive matter as this. And then you have to go to the question of why did he, why did uh, Gar uh, Garland approve uh, a raid on the president's home well, when the local uh, Miami office was opposed to it. I mean, but, but, one but, of the... What, what's the other option with regard to the documents case, right? They made sure Trump wasn't home, right, when they did it. They go there when he's not there. They have now tried again and again and again to get the documents back. They now know that there's been a lie when it came in response to an FBI subpoena. If they'd ended up being wrong, I would agree with you. I'd say, you know what? They got it wrong. Shame on them. They were right. There were a ton of documents still there, and they couldn't get them back. What else are they supposed to do? First of all, that was known from the outset. You know, as president, Donald Trump has absolute authority to handle classified material while any he's way he saw, while while he's he saw fit. 
Well, and under the president, and, and by the way, as vice president, Joe Biden did not have that authority. Well, that authority is unique to the president and no it, other public official. That's not official. true. The vice president and, does have authority to declassify no, documents as well. He that's can true. only, no, that's wrong. He can only declassify documents that he himself has ordered mm -hmm. classified. The mm -hmm. president is the only one who has the authority to handle classified material uh, in any way but he sees fit. But he's not president anymore. And under the Presidential Records Act, Donald Trump has absolute discretion in determining what documents to take with him. That's and not by what the, the way, Presidential advice, Records Act is. The yes, Presidential it Records Act does. does. The Presidential Dan, Records Act look, doesn't say Dan, that anyone that Dan, a president can take home Dan, whatever look documents at the he Clinton. wants. I, look at the Clinton case. That was yeah, decided in, in the Clinton yeah, case. That was about that and was about Bill way, Clinton writing his own. That was about Bill Clinton writing that, his that own notes Bill for a book and whether he'd be able to take those home. Which were classified, and the uh, uh, the court said that under the Presidential Records Act, it is the president who has sole discretion to make those decisions for themselves. Now, and by the way, as vice president, Dan, as vice president, Joe Biden did not have that authority. Yeah. And yet, but, soon after declaring his candidacy, it, it, Donald Trump is prosecuted for having classified documents no, at Mar-a-Lago. He's prosecuted for not turning pass, them over. And Joe Biden gets a pass for having and sharing classified documents in his office. And it's not a question of turning them over. Every person has the right to assert what they believe are their 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 constitutional rights. But and, he didn't assert Donald that Trump right. Did. He lied. He lied. Yeah, he didn't assert he did any assert. rights. What did he lie about? He lied about whether he had more documents at his house. Well, Joe Biden did the same thing. No, one, he didn't. One is, yes, he did. One one is uh, uh, prosecuted, the other isn't. And, and should we also mention the DOJ's decision not to prosecute Hillary Clinton in far more damning circumstances? This is what troubles me, is the unequal application of the law. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.